Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be following Selena Gomez's makeup like routine tutorial. Basically it's the video that she did on the Vogue YouTube channel and I'm going to be following that. I got this idea from Soph Does Life, I saw her do this. I thought that I'll give it a go. So Selena does actually have her own makeup line but you can't get it in the UK. So I'm going to be using my own makeup but be doing it in the way that she does it. So before we get into the video, please be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already so you don't miss any further videos from me. And yeah, let's just get on with it. So I'm currently two minutes into the video because I've skipped past the skincare stuff because I've already moisturized, so I want to get just straight into the makeup. So that's why I've skipped ahead. Next, I'm going to be using my weightless foundation. Okay, so she's not priming. Let me grab my foundation. The foundation I'm going to use, I pretty much use it in like every video, but I'm going to use my Revolution Conceal and Define. F7 and F10 because it has the doe for applicator like her one does and this is the only foundation I have that has this So that's why I'm using these Along my face my applicator kind of tends to It'll follow wherever you put it. Oh, okay, okay, okay She does it very very differently to how I use these types of applicators. I actually like swipe um I don't know if that's a normal thing to do. Um, I've never dotted these on, so this is gonna be a struggle because I don't know how much I need now. I'm gonna go with F10 first, that's the one I always normally do. Um, oh, this is weird. Let's go with this one. Okay, so she's like, she's like swiping with the brush. Oh, oh, we're already done, she's very quick at this. So she's like doing like a swiping motion. I'd normally dab this on, but I guess we'll, do the same thing. I could have put too much on and I also don't know if the shade's right because like I said I'm used to putting this foundation on swiping it so I know the amount I need for each colour but like this I have literally no clue. Oh I just realised I've got no primer so my face looks so weird right now. This is too light I think I need to put some more of the darker colour in it. Um, make sure that even in between, if you're if you have a tan or if you're checking something, I always kind of go in here every now and then. I did just, that. I get sprayed. Next would be my weightless um, concealer. I change color all the time, so for instance, I'm going to use both colors, a little lighter and a little darker. Yep. So I'm just going to use my L'Oreal one. So she puts it under her eyes, around her nose, on her chin, and on her forehead, and then she uses a brush. So again, with this, she dots it. So she uses like an angled brush, so I've just got like this one, it's from Wilco's I think. Um, I never use brushes, this is so weird. I don't think it's dense enough, but oh well, I don't really have another dense one, I don't think. Oh jeez, that hasn't gone to plan. I never use brushes. I didn't take into account that this this concealer does go a long way and using a brush it makes it go even further. Ideally I'd set this because I like it's a lot on my I can feel it on my face. So next these are my liquid blushes. Oh, okay, liquid, liquid blush. So, so I'm usually putting my blush Okay, so she's like dotting it here and here. Top of my cheeks. Hung top of that cheeks. It just kind of lifts your cheekbone a bit and it also doesn't kind of come in here and make you look all red and sunburned. At least that's what Got ya. And with the sponge. Okay, let's do over that. So, I am gonna... I kind of have two options. The simple fact of the matter is I don't have a coral like liquid blush. I don't really own liquid blush. The only two things I own is lolly tint from benefit and Benetint tint from benefit this one is a lip and cheek stain and this one is also that but this one's like liquid and this one's like a cream this one is more like what she uses but this is more like a um candy pink maybe we'll put a bit of this on with a bit of this on top to make it a color because i'm concerned putting this on top of my foundation is gonna because it's liquid it's gonna make it go funny so she goes like here and here see so completely different color but it's fine and then we can always go over with Benetton after. We'll see how this works on my face first. And then I'm just going to go over the end of my sponge. I think I'm going to need more because her one looks like a little goes a long way. This has just made two little dots on my cheeks. That's amazing. So we can see that didn't do anything. It's actually not even spread. We're going to try Benetton. Okay, this is spread better, but it's not really like doing anything 
in terms of stick ones i've only got two options so one of these is going to have to work and they're both the wrong shade so this one is a stick which is from b cosmetics i think it's called and then this one is a Nico Pro Liquid Jelly Blusher. I feel like I should try this one because it's a liquid still. And we're gonna see what happens. We'll just put a little bit of my finger. We need to see if it's pigmented or not. It looks more shiny than pigmented. And then we'll use the sponge again. It's just giving me like a shine. Right, let's try going onto the stick. We're sort of out of options now. Okay, this is definitely the most coloured out of all of the items we've tried. Oh, we got there eventually in some sort of colour, even though it's the wrong shade. Hers was a lot more red, but I can't really think about not having it, so. I do wish I had the more red, because I think it's a nicer colour than this. I mean, it doesn't look awful. It doesn't look as pink as I, as I thought, which is good. It is a bit more corally. I'm going to use the Benefit... And I kind of dust this I've a little got that. bit around. I want to see color. So she kind of actually covers the, um, when she did that, she kind of covered the blush. Some of my short brush to use, because the brush she used looks a bit like of a weird shape. And I'm trying to see what I've got similar. It looks like a tapered brush. So one of these probably look the closest to what she uses. I actually think this eBay brush looks way closer to what she uses. So we might try that, but if it gets a bit too like intense, then we'll use the Real Techniques one. Um, so she just does like basically how I do it, so like in a three, um, forehead, cheek, she goes under the chin. So we're going to do that. I've never used this brush for bronzer, so we're only going to do a little bit at a time to see how much. Um, but she kind of went on top of that blush. I've never used a brush this small for bronzer, it feels really strange. But yeah, she said to do the three, so we're gonna do the forehead. Oh, they dropped me bronzer. This is definitely like a nice little precise, like this is actually really a really cheap brush from eBay, but it's really soft. So she obviously, she says she does the three. But when she first put that bronzer on, she really went over that blush a little bit. Also, I just realised, this is the first time I've ever put bronzer over non-set powder. I mean, non-set foundation. And I've always wondered why people do that, because to me that's just like a massive no, because my skin gets so oily. And I feel like it just clings to like dry bits. Which doesn't seem like it has. A bit of an eye trick that I've learned, because eyeshadow why does she look so good? Tricky, like, kind of tricky for me. Oh, I don't know where I got. So, I'm going to start with a little bit of the kind of nudish colour. So I've got, I just bought over this little sleek palette. Just looks like that. Let's see what she does. I'm gonna go along the edge. You could also use concealer before you put on eyeshadow to give it more of a lasting effect. Okay, she has literally just gone. Let's find a brush. So like she said, she went in with, oh, we can use this little mirror she she went in with her nude color so i'm just gonna go with that tiny little nude color right there because it looks kind of kind of similar this brush is so big <laughs> compared to the thing and she said she went along the like lash line she kind of covered the entire lid though to be oh i'm a bit creasy on the eyes there we go she yeah she kind of actually ended up covering like the whole lid to be fair is what it looked like. This honestly couldn't be further away from the makeup I normally do. This is what it looks like she's done. I think I may have gone a bit big with the eyes. <laughs> a bit high. Oh well, I've done it now. So I'm gonna kind of go in to that shiny and it has more of a lighter color. So I'm gonna use the middle area. Like a baby pink champagne colour. Yeah, her first colour she put down was definitely more like bronze than mine. I actually do have a really pale light colour right there, which is the one I'm going to use. Obviously, like I said, I did make this a bit more like pinker than hers, but it's fine. This is a very similar colour though. It's hard, obviously, I'm using a different palette, so I just got to get 
in the pan it looked it looks like it is similar color to hers maybe it's just the lighting i'm not sure like because in the pan it looks similar the bit i'm dreading is the probably the next bit which is the eyeliner because i know i can't do eyeliner and it could mess up everything okay. brush them out a little okay she brushes her brows and then she just uses brow gel so i'm actually gonna not do that i am actually gonna put some stuff in my brows because I like they're so sparse it looks ridiculous so I'm just gonna brush them out like she did but I need something in them I'm not gonna like try and fill them in too much I'm gonna try and keep them quite like natural looking there's the bee pin again I think I'm just gonna leave the brows because they look alright and I'm just gonna put brow gel in like she did Favorite, favorite. So I love this. This is something I wanted to be perfect because liquid liner can be such a nightmare. Okay, what one's a liner? Here we go. I have tried to do the own like cat liner thing probably since I was 16. So one trick that did stick with me and sometimes it works, but most of the time, you know, I'm just figuring it out as I go, is to basically start, if you're looking straight in the mirror, Start where your eye, where your eye kind of looks directly straight. Does that make sense? And then I go underneath it to create the line that I want. So I wear my liner like this, but again, we're going gradually into so day easy. and night. Okay, let's attempt that. I'm gonna be here forever. <laughs> okay, just before we get on to me doing this, can we just remember, I've I've only ever attempted wing liner, I never actually do it. I've attempted it when I was like 15, I'm now 20, I don't ever do it. This is just a revolution liner. So she literally was like... I don't know how to do it, I would naturally want to do that, but... I'm trying to like keep it small and then build it. And then she just sort of colours it in. Because she does do her liner pretty like... Big. She looks straight ahead in it. How the fuck do people do it on the other side? I need to be ambidextrous. This ain't happening. I have to now make this one thicker because this one's thicker. This one's a lot like straighter angled though. Underneath, I might need to get a little eyeliner pen, a little pencil and fix it. I'm gonna come back, because this one is just pathetic. I'm gonna come back when I've tried to sort it out. I was just talking to a camera that I wasn't recording. So this one I'm like cool with. But this one I hate. I can't describe my hatred for that side. I don't know what to do to fix it. I really don't know what to do. But I think it's going to get too thick, thick if I do what I'm thinking of doing. I think they need to be thicker. Hers is way thicker than this. I feel like that looks better. I did it a bit different to her way, but. I feel like that's as close as I'm gonna get. This is the first time I've ever done this. I feel like we should congratulate me. Considering this was my first time doing winged liner in like a good five years. Next I'll probably be doing my luminizer. I'll put it on little areas around my neck or my shoulders, whatever I I want to feel like shiny and cute. Okay. So. Cheekbones, nose, keep his bow. Oh, and on her eyebrows. Okay. And then she's a massive brush. Right. So the only thing I could sort of think of for this that was the same idea was high beam from Benefit. You can probably tell by now I have a load of Benefit minis. <laughs> So, put a few drops of that. Oh, that was a lot on that side. 
I'm just going to use this Bob Metals brush because it's soft and it's sort of for this sort of thing. And it's big, so it's like her brush almost. And I'm just going to sort of like stipple. It's not as fluffy as hers though, but... Oh well, I started using it now. Still gives the same effect if I use the side of it actually. I'm aware my eyeliner on this side is crappy. I might have to redo it. I might go in the eyeliner and just make it thicker. And then just she does it on like... Mine isn't really... This highlight, like high beam isn't really... I don't feel like powerful enough when, when it's not on the cheeks. But oh well. Okay, so I'm not like a fan of this. But like she does them really big and I noticed that. So I'm trying to like play around with it and make it bigger. Because her, her like lines are like huge. Her wings. So I'm trying to like get it more accurate to hers. And now I do a last look thing, which is- I seriously need something so under my eyes. They're so crazy. So LA, last looks. Um, this is just to ensure that everything. Okay, we're going in for concealer again. I'm not gonna do as much as she's doing because mine's like a lot. I'm just gonna do like that. Then like she did that. It's very strange to do concealer after you've like done everything else though. I feel like this is really strange. I've gone quiet because I'm like concentrating. Here is my blot and glow touch up kit. So she's got blotting this powder. Sheet. Pull out and paid paper rubber. My best alternative is a piece of tissue. And I'm gonna <laughs> peel it apart. There we go. And then I'm just gonna rip a bit. You know how it is. There's me blotting sheet, bit of blotting paper. And then, oh, this is just not happening, is it? I don't feel that's done much, but okay. And then take this. You can also do the powder. I don't have anything like that, so I'm literally go just gonna go with my normal powder all over my face. Or like in the areas I need it. Right. Should I very quickly now? <laughs> I'm gonna use my stain matte powder. I'm just gonna put it in all the places that I like need it. Desperately under the eyes. But now I've already put stuff on my eyes, so like Now, I have lashes on. So she's got lashes on. So when I want to have a more of a look, I would go for Huda Beauty lashes. So I will just probably put on a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna curl my lashes and do mascara because, oh, she's kind of so quick now. I'm sorry, a bit sour a second ago. Just to curl them and do my Lab Maybelline Lash Sensational because she has lashes on and I feel like these give a really nice effect. So like this mascara, so I'm just gonna do that okay i can tell you though this line is not amazing because it's actually kind of just rubbed off from the on my actual eyelid the line is just rubbed off from the curlers it definitely looks better now i've got i'm putting some mascara on it but the lip souffles are so yummy they are so smooth so normally is my signature red i'm showing you this other color because black okay so she's using more like a coral we did i got to Okay. But when it goes, it but it looks okay. really red on her lips. So because of that, I'm going to use a red because it, <laughs> I've only got two options and it's like red or pink. I've got two soft my lip creams because it looks like the most similar formula. And colour wise, I don't really have these sort of colours. So I'm assuming this one's going to be, yeah, that's way too neon pink. That's the pink that is Manila. And then the red one is called Morocco. It's a bit more orangey, but we're going to go for the bottom one. Nope, the top one. I think hers is a bit more glossy than these. Because these are obviously soft matte, soft matte lip creams. Okay, these aren't as pigmented as I remember. Because she doesn't use a lip liner. This is very bright. I think I might put like a little gloss or something over it. Yeah, hers is a bit more like... Juicy. So I'm gonna put on top this NYX candy lip, candy, candy slick, glowy lip color. 
in like a dark in like a red because this is a bit bright orange i still keep it on i'm just gonna put this on top it's actually not far off on color i reckon this is the closest in formula because this is i've never used this these are lovely they are so smooth very pigmented let's see what does she do now hers is a bit more red than mine but like hers is a bit deeper but i feel like it's all right next step is to do a little bit of this so this is my refresher spray so i'm just gonna use my urban decay setting spray yeah this is a look i've never done before but yeah this was me following selena gomez's makeup uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to subscribe like and comment let me know any other ideas if you want to see more of these types of videos any tips you have on winged liner because i like it i just not very good at it um yeah just let me know and i will see you in my next video bye